<laughs> Don't break the heating. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, that is. <laughs> oh, you're sitting right next to the heating. <laughs> okay, we are recording. And hello everybody, this is David Cortez, co-founder of Arduino. I'm here today with Amanda from Pin Programming. Hello Amanda, how are you hello, doing? Hello, I'm doing great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's super exciting to be here. It's the first time anybody comes to the shed to visit us, so uh, yes. I'm really happy. Also with us, we have uh, our dear Carl and Josephine. Woo! But Woo! we have them for real. Look at this. Come in, come in. Here they are. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So Carl and Josephine, they typically help out like preparing the challenges and whatever materials are needed for the live casts. And um, today they uh, brought in Amanda. And Amanda is a Pink Programming Malmo. And we're going to ask Amanda, first of all, what about you? I mean, who are you? Just tell us a couple of things about who you are. Who am I? <laughs> okay, so I want to say hi as well. Um, I'm super excited to be here. This is really cool. We're in this really cool shed right now. And uh, yeah, I'm just amazed. <laughs> um, so uh, my name is Amanda Eriksson and I am the project leader for a, um, an organization, a non-profit organization called uh, Pink Programming. Okay, Pink Programming. What is Pink Programming then, Amanda? What is Pink? Um, so we are an organization, as I said, and um, our goal is to we want to bring more girls into programming. And that is like my hjärtefråga. <laughs> hjärtefråga. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you're not know, weird in Sweden. Okay, that's like, a, that means a central question. That's our mission, right? Yeah. Um, so, right. yes, just for you, those of you that are listening to us live, the Discord channel is open for any kind of questions. So you're welcome to ask any questions during this uh, interview to Amanda about what she's doing, what the program is all about, and so on. I'm going to ask a whole bunch of questions, obviously, but if in case I forget about anything, you're welcome to ask as well. So uh, so what do you do exactly as a project manager at Pink Programming? What's what's your day-to-day? -day yes, what program? do I do? Um, so what I do, um, or what Pink is. So we, uh, as I said, we want to bring more women into programming. Uh, and we are doing this uh, through different means. Uh, we have basically two legs. So one leg is, uh, we have Sunday events, it's called. And that is what I am responsible for. Sunday events is every Sunday? Uh, we wish. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, it's uh, around about once a month. Okay. Uh, it's here in Malmö. But it's and always it's, on uh, Sunday, that's the whole it's, point. Exactly. And uh, it's like super crazy popular. Okay, just yeah. so you, you're fully booked every time, right? Your mom. Every time. Okay. So we have an event mm -hmm. and uh, it's at a company yeah. every time. Uh, let, uh, since you're talking about this, let's open your website, right? Oh, these are the questions I'm going to ask you. Oops, this is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, so this is a website and uh, it's in Swedish, but you can see here it says uh, incoming events. Yeah. And it's been programming Sundays. And this is the different events in the different cities yeah. in the Nordic countries. So it's Malmo, That's right. Gothenburg, Stockholm and Oslo. Oslo. It's not Sweden, for those of you that don't know. It used to be, actually. Yeah, uh, I back in the days. Yeah, back in the days. <laughs> the same way that Sweden used to be part of Denmark. Oslo, Norway used to be part of Sweden. Mm. Uh, what you don't learn when you go around. Uh, anyway, uh, so Pink Programming, it's making different activities. And we see here, there's a Sunday events and there is this Pink Camps, right? Yeah, that's right. So the, the camps, that's actually the second leg. Uh, so that's the two things we do. And it's like... We create this environment mm -hmm. uh, that is on with only women. Uh, so we want it to be like a safe and nice and fun environment uh, for women to uh, learn how to program. So that's why we have the events and the camps. Okay. Oh, you want to start like podcast live from my shed. You can also borrow my shed only for Oh, you. yeah? Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> I mean, you know how to find I'd it now. I'd love that. Yeah, yeah. I'd love that. Fantastic. Yeah. So, um, but uh, what's the first thing you tell women when they get started in programming? Let's say you have yeah. a complete beginner. Yeah. Um, yeah, so actually a lot of our, the girls who come to the events, they are beginners um, and they're just super curious about what programming is. Mm -hmm. You know, they think it's like super hard, super difficult and you know, maybe a bit nervous and scared mm -hmm. uh, of it at first. Uh, so then they come to us, maybe to, to an event mm -hmm. and you know, they sit there, they have no clue what they're gonna do. 
they <laughs> have they haven't written a single line yeah. of code ever. Uh, so they come to us and they come to the event. And so, uh, you know, we usually start the event with like different workshops and we talk to them and I help them out. Uh, so what they want to know, you know, they just want to they just want to see how it is to write the code, mm -hmm. you know, because they don't know. They think it's uh, I don't know. They think it's really hard. And then like I show magic, them. right? Yeah, like magic, <laughs> like Harry Potter. <laughs> but then and then we do a workshop and we do something um, like pretty basic so they mm -hmm. can follow. Um, and you know we show them how it's done, uh -huh. uh, and uh, so you have a mix of like beginners and more experienced people, yep. and is it like it's like a one to one or you know which is like the percentage like you have a person running a workshop and it's like mm. ten girls participating mm. or it's so different. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying out this like all different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it could be like last time we had a workshop and I think it was. Uh, so it was one teacher and then uh, like tw 20 participants mm -hmm. sitting in the workshop. And then we had another 40 doing free programming at the events. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, the teacher goes through, okay, how are we going to, what code are we going to write? What are we going to do? And then everybody follows. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, like a guy that laps kind of session. Yeah. 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 And um, after that, they walk around or like the teachers walk around and they show them exactly how it's done mm -hmm. and help people, help yeah. the girls uh, to write on their own. Uh, so that's how we did last time um, but you know we just want to try different ways out um, usually yeah you know uh, we have a lot of beginners um, and you know they just want to start mm -hmm. just want to get started uh, so we, we help them start writing so basically you have different methods for interesting people so it's good if, if you are not comfortable with one way there's going to be another way to get yeah. into it and it's all about confidence right because I, I understand sure. that it's always hard. I mean, I, I always say to tell the story about once I made the survey about how many women were in the Arduino forum yeah. and it was less than 10%. Mm. So I got really scared because I, I thought like I, when I go teach at the university, there is over 50% women. Mm. So what happens? So, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. You know, it's um, what we've all seen. You know, there are so few women uh, mm. in this field. Um, and of course, it differs a lot, you know, between different companies. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know for a fact that out of one out of 20 mm -hmm. computer science students, um, that's the women in Sweden. Mm -hmm. One out of 20 well, uh, are women. Well, uh, I, I was showing this picture once in one of my lectures about one of these technical high schools when people were graduating. Yeah. And there were like five rows of men and there was one row of girls. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you know what? What you know? Uh, like how how does that make women feel? You know, it's they're the minority. Mm. Uh, so usually, what I think happens is, um, you know, since they're the minority, they get a little bit uh, more shy. You know, they don't feel as comfortable and mm. um, don't you know want to express themselves too much, and then it doesn't get as much fun. You know. Uh -huh. Uh, if you don't feel 100% like you're part of the group, they, you know, so, uh, the so confidence. Fun is an important aspect of work, that's what you're trying to say as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. sure. <laughs> so basically, this is not about, you know, just becoming a great programmer. It's also about having fun while doing it, which it's is very important. Most important. <laughs> so um, I have a couple more questions. So how do you motivate girls to come? Because you said your events are fully booked, but yeah. you have to for sure go out and talk to people, right? So how do you do yeah. that? Uh, how we find girls to our events. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, as I said before, like now we've actually spread uh, so well, so we don't have to find more people. Um, we are fully booked out. Uh, last time I think it was within 20 minutes, we're fully booked out. And we have like 60 people on the waiting list. Uh, so at the moment, uh, you know, Pink Programming has managed to spread to a lot of people, uh, which is great and I love that. Um, but I mean, if we want to grow, uh, of course, we want to reach out to more people. Mm -hmm. So I'm showing here this. You had an event this last Sunday, right? Yeah. And I, I, read, <laughs> I read here it was great because there were 74 people that went to the event. Yeah. According to this, uh, 72, yeah. sorry. And 174 were interested. Yeah. And you were sponsored by Hypergene, which is That's one of the local companies in doing software. So thanks, yeah. Hypergene, for supporting theme programming. Yeah. And. Uh, so what happened this Sunday? Yeah, tell us a little bit about this Sunday. What yeah. what was going on there? Yeah. Um. So that was this Sunday. Yeah. We. So what we started? We start at ten in the morning. 
Mm. And, and then I usually start to talk. I present pink programming. And then we have a presentation of the company. Mm. And then we start with the workshop. One session workshop. And then we have in lunch. Really test the lunch. <laughs> and, and then we have inspirational speech. And then we continue the workshop. And that's pretty much it. And you go on until a time or you go on until people pass out? It's like an absolute yeah. nerd thing or you go out for cocktails? You know, <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the girls aren't like super tired at the end of the day. Because I'm like, oh my god, gosh, like I am exhausted. Like I don't want to do it anymore. No, it's, different but, to, it's different to organize and to sit down and enjoy the event, right? I yeah. Mean, I, I've been to going to so many conferences lately it's yeah. like that. You see the organizers are like... <laughs> yes, and exactly. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, but so like, yeah, like the question is like, how do we inspire the girls? Like that is sort of what I am, um, you know, working with. Like I'm trying to inspire them in different mm. ways, um, and you know, um, we try different things out. I think um, I want to show them how fun it is. Mm -hmm. I also want to inspire them, uh, you know, through like talking to them mm -hmm. about. Uh, uh, confidence and uh, um, how you get out there out in the work working world in the real world I'm a mm -hmm. student so I don't know exactly <laughs> what that is yet <laughs> uh, but I pretend um, and also I think it's really important um, mm -hmm. they have um, role models okay so, so, so you, you, basically all the speakers are, are women right yeah. this is, has to be explained so I will never be a speaker at Pin Programming, Unfortunately, even, no. even though I would love to, but we don't can worry. You out I'll have people like Josephine here <laughs> that can be a great speaker about Arduino at Pin Programming any time. Yeah. And actually it leads me to the question of like, are you also doing electronics or so far you're focusing on your software mm. or which is the content of these uh, events? It's everything. 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 <laughs> yeah. We try out some from uh, front end uh, to back end programming to we have done Arduino workshops mm -hmm. as well. Um, and you know we have we want to do GitHub as well because it's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to do uh, um, yeah we've done JavaScript we've done Java we've done all different kinds. Um, mm -hmm. You know just anything in the in the IT and programming world. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you know I, I I want to say that I I make ex I made extensive the invitation to Pink Programming to co-host uh, the Processing Community Day that's going to be in February uh, yeah. next year here in Malmo. So we're still talking about how it's going to roll. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> because we're still going to discuss <laughs> Nothing about how... Nothing is decided yet, really, yeah. but we're, we're talking about how yeah, it's going to exactly. roll. Yeah, so, exactly. So I hope that we can make an event together. Uh, yeah, ideally, uh, Pink Programming will make sure that we have a proper gender distribution, both in the speakers and the audience. Yeah. I think it's very important. Yeah. And uh, Arduino and Malmo University will make sure we have a proper place where to run this yeah. thing. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a couple of more questions and so on. Like, uh, I would like to know uh, how would you think that we could do? Uh, I know this is a, it's not a program question, so you might, you're welcome not to answer. Okay. <laughs> so I think we could do at Arduino, for example, to to inspire more girls. We we know a lot of girls use Arduino, but how yeah. we could inspire them to be more visible. I think yeah, that's yeah. very important for us. Yeah, that's very important. Oh, well, I think the best is to just uh, show them in person. Mm -hmm. Of course, physically, like, uh, as we do, you know, just somehow manage to meet the, the people mm -hmm. in real life. Uh, I think the app, that's the absolute best. Um, but how else would you do it? There are so many different ways, mm -hmm. but it's so hard as well to reach out to different girls. Um, I mean, spread it as we do here. Uh, try and get it out in the community, like, you know, get the parents to get involved and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, show their kids, uh, go to schools, um, just show people. And, yeah, we have social media today, which is awesome, mm -hmm. so you can spread it there. Um, but I think really show it in person, like, if they get to try it out, see it for real. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we could talk for hours, but I hope this yeah. program has helped people to, uh, has planted a seed on people's brains about what's important and what not, and how people could uh, collaborate yeah. uh, in getting more people uh, from different uh, social groups and so on involved in computing. I think it's very important. Today we're talking for about sure. women here in Sweden, which is definitely a relevant field. Mm. Uh, there's a discussion in other countries about people from different uh, uh, 
social Dip groups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's... You know, having to do with programmers in color, for mm. example, is a big debate as well, and so for on. Sure. Here in Sweden, uh, I think we should discuss about immigrants versus not Im not immigrants as well, and so yeah. on. But there are so many aspects that we need to touch upon. There so, are so many, and we're actually really lucky in Sweden, yeah. uh, you know, that we have the possibility to go out to, uh, and actually, you know, we can actually get education and learn about IT and programming. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have that abroad, it's, you know, it's harder. Well, we're getting a lot of, uh, actually, we're getting a lot of comments on the on the YouTube channel. Let's just take a quick look on the Discord channel. There's not so many questions, but on YouTube, there is a lot. So, uh, <laughs> says, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, so, hi, hi. Uh, MDE Key says, uh, many of the girls in our Arduino middle school class are not that motivated. So it's no. here, even though this is a great yeah. topic. He says, hopefully this will make them more motivated. Hopefully there will be more pink live cast. Oh. Well, it's actually, it's actually just Josephine. <laughs> Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh. Then later on, uh, it's a comment about that. He says here that girls find programming in the ID very daunting and uh, they're trying to look for ways to make them uh, think that it's not boy business. I think that's very important. I think yeah. code as code is for everybody. It's you know? for everyone. It's like writing yeah. poetry or a song. There's no difference. Yes, damn straight. <laughs> Uh, it says, uh, Caesar Gaming says Facebook HTML CSS is really bad. Okay, I think this is a political comment. <laughs> <laughs> we we should not talk about this here. Uh, well, uh, oh, what, yeah. what was this? Buona sera, Amanda. I say think Italiana. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think. Is that I, if I'm, I'm Italian? Yeah, I'm, he's, she's not Italian. She has a nah, really beautiful Swedish accent, speaking English. <laughs> 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 but I mean, that's that's nice. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, continues. Nice. I noticed the boys compete with them uh, and sentence dominate the workshop. I don't know what to stop them in order not to discourage them. And I see a discomfort in the girls' faces. It's actually a fact. Uh, we've seen this as well in different places. And I always tell mm. the story about my daughter actually when mm. one day a guy told her, You cannot do this because you're a girl. Yeah, so yeah. she let the guy fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, Now that you failed, do you want me to fix it for you? So, uh, people, you know. Uh, uh, there are different techniques, and I, I hope uh, yeah. experiences like PIM programming and the like will help us out uh, become a lot more inclusive. So thanks, Amanda, for coming by. Thank I you high five. so much. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much for having me. Okay, yeah, thanks, really everybody, and thanks to our secret angels down here. Thank thanks, you guys. everyone. We'll see you soon in the Arduino Livecast next week, same time, same place. Goodbye. See you next time. Oh my God. <laughs>